picture this. You just finished recording something less than a minute long. You want to share it to your pals. You come and grab it, drop it in Discord. Oh no, it's too big. Well, you're too lazy to open up a video editor, so how can I get around this? Well, if you're on Windows, go ahead and grab Git Bash if you don't have it already. I'm going to grab it here. You can use all the defaults for the installation. It doesn't really matter if you don't ever intend to use Git. The important thing is this associate sh files to be run with Bash. That, that's what you want. Skip through all this. The rest doesn't matter. If you ever use Git, then cool. But uh, if not, you don't need to worry about any of these settings. You're just using it purely to run Bash. All right, cool. So now I got this. We got this little thing. You can close that out because you don't need it. Back at the repo here, next you need to grab ffmpeg, so you can grab here or just grab it directly. I'm going to click the grab direct so it pops up instantly. All right, so now we've downloaded the ffmpeg, and finally we just need to grab this repo. So I'm going to come to this code here and just say download zip. Boom, we got everything we need. So first, open up ffmpeg, come in here into the bin folder, and all you care about is ffmpeg.exe. So let's pull that out. Don't need that anymore. Uh, let's extract that zip from the repo. drag ffmpeg into there, and I'm going to drag my video into there that I want to convert, and there you go. All you got to do from now on is just click whatever, so this is an mp4, so I'm just going to click, uh, let's say let's grab the 720 version, and it'll instantly start converting it, making a new file with the C extension at the end there. Oh, would you look at that? It's only 8 megabytes now. Much more reasonable. And if I come and drag that into Discord, boom, it's happy. Everyone's happy, and now... Whenever you have videos, even if you got multiple of them, as I'll show you right here, you just bring them into the folder and then you double click whatever size you want. If it's an MKV ending extension, because OBS defaults that, you just use that version. But if you record as MP4, you can use MP4. It's going to end up converting every single file that it finds in the folder and just add an underscore C to them. So you can see it's going here. Hope this is useful to someone. Enjoy.